So most of the content I've been making recently talking about PlayStation has been very, very, very positive, and there's a reason for that. It's because my experience so far when coming over to PlayStation and embracing it, um, not necessarily switching in the sense of it's the only platform I play now because that's not the case, but really just, you know, coming over here and experiencing some of the offerings and realizing that there is really some amazing things that PlayStation is doing. Um, it's been ex it's been a very positive experience, and there's been just really nothing but me having good things to say. But unfortunately, in today's video, I'm going to have to talk about something that Sony is doing that I think is wrong. I do not agree with at all. And I think even the most hardcore of PlayStation fans could probably agree with me on this. And I'm also not trying to blow it out of proportion because... A lot of times on YouTube or in any other area, you see people take something that's pretty small and blow it up to something huge. But this is, you know, I, I normally don't even talk about this stuff, but in my opinion, this is pretty serious. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the recent censorship spree that Sony has apparently been going on. And in my opinion, it has really come to a head, or it's about to, if it continues to get worse which at the rate Sony's going, it looks like it might. Um, for those who don't know, recently, you know, Devil May Cry 5 released, and I personally haven't played the game yet. I've heard great things about it. And specifically on the PlayStation 4 version of the game, there are two scenes in particular in which there is uh, clear censorship put in place by either Capcom or Sony. Now, as far as I know, as of the recording of this video, neither has come out and said anything or made a statement about it to clarify. But uh, I, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put up images or not, but I'll try to describe it for you. I'm sure most of you have already seen it. Uh, there's a few scenes in particular where you see, I believe the character names are Lady and Trish. Uh, from behind and they are completely naked now the game is rated M for mature okay so that's really important to keep in mind during this conversation and on all other versions of the game you can see them you can see their behind you know you can see um, you can see it the way the creator intended the audience to see it except for the PlayStation 4 version which apparently has a patch that when you download this patch it adds like a purple lens flare that covers up very specifically uh, the areas that Sony I guess doesn't want you to see and it becomes very obvious when you look at comparison pictures to the Xbox one version and the PC version that something is up here now this isn't the only instance of Sony recently um, enforcing censorship on their platform there's been a lot of it going on but it really hasn't hit mainstream titles yet and and bigger titles like we're seeing now with devil may cry 5 and from what i've heard and from what i you know some of the digging that i've been doing kind of looking into it um it seems as though a lot of japanese titles um are are having this done to them and it, it's it seems to specifically be with any type of sexual content um any at all like not and you know i honestly think that there are th I, there are things that do cross the line and there's always you know uh creators out there who are trying to push boundaries and and, and sometimes they do cross the line and i think i think it's very easy to tell when something's crossing the line and when something's not and in this case they're not crossing the line at all. And I think that this is a huge issue with Sony. Um, it seems it's coming from, from what I'm hearing. I, I could be wrong. I do need to emphasize that. But what's circulating around right now is that this seems to be coming from uh, Sony's headquarters in California. And uh, apparently one of the higher-ups, one of the executives, I don't have the quote in front of me right now. I don't even know who this person is. But essentially, back in late 2018, you know, this was still a conversation that was going on about, about censorship. And the explanation he provided, what it basically came down to, to sum it up, is it's about protecting the children. 
And I think that this is a huge, huge problem. And this is something that Sony absolutely needs to stop right now. Because if they don't, I don't think they understand the path they're about to walk down and the amount of blowback they're going to get trying to walk down this path. Because believe me when I tell you, when it comes to censorship, it's not something that gamers are going to accept. It's not something that gamers are going to support. And if Sony actually thinks that it's their responsibility to play parent, they're going to be in for a world of hurt. Now, just like I've had to call out a lot of the dumb stuff I've seen Microsoft do, a lot of the things that Microsoft has been doing recently that really just grinds my gears, this is something very serious that Sony is pursuing that if if we let it go, if we don't push back against it, they're going to think it's okay and they're going to continue to push harder and something tells me that this is you know even though we haven't gotten confirmation yet i think it's pretty obvious that this is something that's been done on sony's end it's probably one of these things where sony kind of talked to capcom and said hey capcom it might be in your best interest if you want to sell your game on our platform to maybe consider covering up these, uh, you know, the, the, these few moments of, of nudity, right? Because, you know, that's inappropriate and we don't need that for the children. Even though, even though, one, we have a rating system and, you know, there's an M rating for a reason and when you look at the box art or when you look at it on the PlayStation Store, it explicitly tells you why it's rated M and it will list if there is any type of sexual content or nudity. But, you know, Sony needs to play parent here and make sure that they protect the children, right? Um, and not only that, number two, they're completely okay with exposing children to extreme violence. And I'm, when I say extreme, I'm probably going to have Last of Us footage playing in the background because this is like what I'm talking about. We're just absolute brutality, man. We're not talking about shooting somebody and killing them. I mean, we're talking about like ripping people apart here you know even just thinking about mortal Kombat for a second here and the fatalities right even though they're a little bit ridiculously over the top if you actually look at that is that something you're going to willingly um you know let a a, a seven-year-old or a six-year-old buy if you're a fear parent and let them play that if you know that it's rated m and it has this extreme gore and this extreme violence probably not uh that's not sony's job it is not sony's job it is not their place to try to tell creators what they can and cannot show or do or express. Um, I just don't think that's right at all. And I think that if this continues, it's it's really going to be a problem. Like, I, I normally don't try to blow things out of proportion, but this is something that will really, really hurt Sony <laughs> badly if whoever's over there doesn't get the message loud and clear that do not censor games. Do not make creators, do not force creators to censor anything. If there are people who are not, you know, who, who are creating things that are just clearly crossing the line, right, that's a different story. But we're talking about, you know, we're talking about Devil May Cry 5 right now. And I've seen some people say before that there's no reason to get worked up over Sony censorship because the only thing they're censoring are these weird niche Japanese games that, you know, have a lot of... Uh, it's, it's very much about, you know, uh, being very sexual and, and, and sexualizing, you know, young women and all this stuff. But, like, even then, I mean, like, a lot of these games, again, like, there's a reason why there's ratings. And, and I'm not trying to defend these games particularly because I, I don't play them personally. But all I know is that it's, it's becoming clear based off of Sony's explanation and especially what we're seeing now with Devil May Cry 5 that Sony is making an extreme effort here or what seems to be an extreme effort to censor what seems to be any type of sexually explicit content, even in the form of just, you know, nudity. And you think about other big titles, right? Other big mature titles specifically that that are out, that are going to be coming out. You think about Cyberpunk 2077. I've heard a lot of people raising concerns that they're afraid because of how mature this game's going to be and how much... You know, there it's it's gonna very much be one of these games where they're not gonna hold anything back, and they and the creators have a, a an intent on the type of world and and the 
you know, just the themes within this world that they want to create. And clearly, you know, sexuality uh, is going to play a huge part in that and, uh, and nudity to an extent from what we've heard. And now people are concerned that does this mean Sony's going to make uh, CD Projekt Red censor their game in order to release it on the PlayStation 4? Well, you know what? If they're willing to do this to Capcom with Devil May Cry 5, it is worth pointing out too, and I, I apologize for not saying it earlier, and I'm like, you know, 10 minutes within the video. It's just with the Western version. Apparently in the Japanese version, it's not censored uh, on the PS4. It's just the Western version for some reason, which I guess is why... That's what leads people to think that it has something to do with the uh, California headquarters that Sony has, which does make sense. That would kind of add up. But I just, I I really get concerned when I see uh, stuff like this because this is not, I, I know some people are going to try to like blow it off and be like, dude, what's the big deal? Like they're just covering up an ass, you know, and, and, and some you know, some body parts, it's like, you don't understand, like, that's, that's not the point, it's not the fact that, oh, we want to see that ass, right, like, it's, it's, it's not about that, I mean, it is to an extent, but what it really comes down to is, it's like, this is how the creator, you know, made their game, and they made it this way for a very specific reason, this is what they want the audience to see, um, whether it comes to violence, whether it comes to, you know, uh, the way the characters talk, the way the characters look, and the things that they want the audience to see, there is a reason for it. And sometimes those reasons don't have to be anything other than this is just what the creator wanted to create, right? And this is how they wanted to make their game. And the fact that Sony thinks that they can just come in and, and, and dictate what creators can and can't show, it. I'm telling you, man, like... This is not what gamers want, Sony. Like, you've been doing really, really good. Um, you know, you won me over, and I've been in enjoying your games, and I'm loving the platform so far, but seeing this really concerns me, and I, I, I really hope that they listen to the pushback here, because if they don't, I am highly concerned at the direction they're going to go in and how hard they're going to push for this, and, you know, most importantly, how bad it's going to be for them. Because I'm, I'm telling you, man, like even just looking on Twitter, uh, I, you know, scrolling through my Twitter and I saw the official PlayStation come up and they were mentioning something about Devil May Cry 5. And I went and checked, you know, the, the comments and literally all it was was people telling them remove the censorship or there's just too much lens flare. You know, now that now it's pretty much a meme already, which it should be. There's just lens flare. And, and this is not the first time Sony has done this. Uh, it seems this is the first time they've, you know, we've seen it affect a bigger AAA game like Devil May Cry 5. And now people are very concerned, as they should be, is this going to end up affecting more AAA games in the future? You know, I mean, it's 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 the hypocrisy of it just, it kind of blows my mind. Like, whoever's in charge of this, like, like do you not see... That like one of your like your biggest first party title, that being The Last of Us Part Two, you're literally showing, um, you know, you're you're literally showing people being brutally executed, you know, like I, I just in, in in horrific ways, you know, which I'm fine with, you know, I'm just, I'm fine with that. That's how the creators want it to be. There's a reason they want it to be that way to show the brutality of the world but you're okay with that right you're okay with showing somebody getting their arm hammered like literally like broken with a hammer by it being smashed but you're not okay with showing a woman's ass like i i, I don't get it. it it makes literally no sense it's super hypocritical and it needs to stop it needs to stop and i had to make this video talking about this because it is a serious matter and i just want my voice to be heard to let Sony know, I mean, I don't know if anybody there will ever hear this. I'm sure they won't. But, you know, we got to kind of get the conversation going because I care, right? Like, I care about this. I don't want to see my game censored unnecessarily. I don't want to see my game censored at all. I don't want to see creators being censored. I want to see them be able to create what they want to create without fear of censorship. That's how it should be. Um, and that's why ratings exist, right? Like, that's why if a game crosses the line, so to speak... They make it AO, adults only. That's why that rating exists, okay? So there's a reason why the mature rating exists. It's so parents can actually parent and look at the box and say, mature, you know, 17 plus, uh, violence, gore, nudity, whatever, 
sexual content and they know like definitely not going to let my child play this because this is not meant for them so yeah that's going to do it for the video guys i'm sorry i have to be so negative today but this is just something that has to be said something we have to talk about and uh if it continues going forward which i hope it does not we're going to have to continue to talk about it but for now we're just going to leave it at this we're going to see what happens we're going to see if sony gets the hint if they stop this immediately as they should or if there's for some godforsaken reason going to continue to try to push this censorship you know on other games going forward but that does it for the video guys let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below i'm sure there will be some people who try to downplay this but please try to understand that this runs deeper than people getting upset that they can't see nudity you know that they can't see naked women or whatever it's it's not about that, okay? You, you need to try to understand that it's, it, it's, that's not why people are upset, okay? Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Leave the video a like if you enjoy it, if you support what I have to say here, and if you agree with it. Uh, be sure to share the video out as well. That helps tremendously. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell notification. Uh, but until next time, guys, take care.